I'm not embarrassed to tell you, we fell in love with the first picture. She flies, she's been to Oklahoma. Uh, and, uh, she's been to Kansas with us. Uh, she's, she's already deposited her little bundles in, uh, let's see, at least five or six different airports. Tula flew to Kansas City with us with her little headset on. And, uh, really enjoys it. And she goes to work with us. She sits at the conference table. We have a milk bone break in the morning. and uh, She has her coffee and her milk bone and we go over what we're going to do that day and then we all go back to work. <laughs> Ed and I went into the conference room there. We talked to one of the volunteers on Valentine's Day and she said, oh, you've got to look at this cat. And then they brought him in. He was in a cage. He was a member of the Lonely Hearts Club. He'd been in his cage there for several months. And he popped out of his cage, jumped on me, and just laid with his little paws on Ed, looking at him in his face. The minute he jumped in my lap when we were looking at him, I said, this is the one. Is this the one, Ed? I'll go sign the papers, right? And he goes, yes. And we've been totally satisfied with him. He's added a lot to our house. He let everybody know he was going to play with them, whether they wanted to or not. I mean, he's just brought so much love and energy to the home. I was looking for a, a dog that would bring my family closer together. See it. it was just kind of one of those things where, where we uh, wanted to take on the challenge and, and to have something really to, to get us all outside and play. Bring it here, Ginger. Come here. She's a very loving dog. Ginger, sit. Good girl. She likes hugs and, and likes kisses and, and just likes to be by us at all times. We really love her. She's just been the best thing we could have done for our family. We're looking for a couple of older, you know, more mellow cats, lab cats, you know, maybe seven or eight years, and I don't remember who it was, but she said, would you take 11? I go, well, sure, you know, so we went back there, and there was Judy and Gray. They, um, Judy just came out and, you know, rubbed on my hand. I could tell, okay, these are the cats we want. They're so empathic. They can tell when you're unhappy or upset or you're in pain. Judy is always there when I need her. I mean, you know, I can call her and it'll take her a minute, but she'll come over, you know, and let me pet her and love on her. We know a lot of it is volunteer. So the people that are there are, they're there because they want to be there. It's just not like you're dealing with somebody that's getting paid to do their job. Watch me! It's almost like, like what a good dog! They're just delighted to be there. I feel very comfortable going in there and seeing how well the pets are taken care of. And I know that if we adopt an animal from there, we know what we're getting. We're told everything up front, and we know that they've been well taken care of, and that they'll be a good pet. So it kind of removes a lot of the unknowns uh, when adopting a pet. So that's the thing that I, I really like about the Humane Society. Everybody was very honest about what we were getting into and uh, helped us pick the trainer. And uh, the trainer was kind of the key on uh, helping us out. And we still have a few things we need to work on, but you know, for the short period of time we've had her, she's just been the best thing we could have done for our family. Humane is absolutely the word that describes the place. They take wonderful care of the animals and they're more than happy to help you and make sure that you know, you're taking home the right animal. No. Make sure that you're bringing home you know, your new companion for life. I'm not embarrassed to say we treat her like a child or like a human or like part of the family and everybody there was exactly the same way. In our experience with the Humane Society, they've been the absolute best. They feel about the animals the same way we do. And I remember thinking, you know, they're interviewing me to make sure that I'm going to be a suitable home for this dog. And then I got to thinking, that's really great. I'm glad they're doing that. And they wanted also to make sure that Tulip was happy with the situation. Our experience has been wonderful. Let me be your you friend. Good girl. Let me walk by you. I need someone to love, and I'm hoping that maybe you do too. Let me be your friend. I'll never let you die. Times are rough, you can count on me, I'll always be around. I just need some place of my own where I belong. And who knows, it just might be that you could use a friend like me. Open up your heart, and if you feel like I do, 
I can be your friend, you can be mine too. Let me be your friend. It's easy to do. Something good to eat, a warm place to sleep, and a hug or two. Let me be your friend. Tried and true. When you come home, I'll be there by the door just to welcome you. I can be your friend. You can be mine too. Let me be your friend. Let me be 